I mean, dinner is served. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Why not join us on Patreon or YouTube membership? You like money, eh? Yeah, but you get something too. Join us at the shadow level and you could pick a film for us to review, like Doc Savage, Man of Bronze. <laughs> Based on the 1930s pulp hero and starring the perfectly cast Ron Ely. Daring adventures, exotic locales, period setting. It's hard to see how this failed. This is Doc Savage. The Man of Bronze. Getting easier. Doc inspired some other famous characters. This is Doc's fortress of solitude in the Arctic Circle. My spidey sense is tingling. Something's wrong. But how did you know? Picked up your thought waves, came as fast as I could. What's happened? Doc, it's in regard to your father. Last week, he passed away. You didn't sense that? These are Doc's five followers, including the world's greatest chemist. That's what I assumed, but apparently it's this guy. Another member of the group is Monk. The world's greatest chemist. Savage Senior left Doc a letter, now in his safe, but... How did he miss? It's a good thing Doc had those refractive glass windows installed. Saved his life. Indubitably. From the outside, everything appears to be five inches to the left where it actually is. A most fragmentatic invention. It needed explanation, but not like that. Doc sets out to find what happened to his father. My father did not die of a tropical disease. He was murdered. His friends coming with him. Which is a problem, because that's a lot of sidekicks. Oh, so many of you. All so handsome. <laughs> they each have their own skill. Thinking it over, I came to the conclusion you might need a lawyer after all. Spoilers, they don't. This is the law here, Harvard man. So they end up being comic relief. To the garage! To the garage! Ish. Failures to kill Savage have enraged bad guy Captain Seas. I didn't think Doc Savage would be that easy to eliminate. Who offs the failed assassin using magic snakes. <laughs> that he now sends for Doc. I don't mind the fan getting rid of the snakes, that's just ingenuity. Blowing them out the window with an air of, eh, someone else's problem now, is a little galling, but the larger problem, and this gets worse throughout, is I never fear for Doc. He's brilliant at everything. Scientist, explorer, inventor, criminologist. Unbeatable in a fight. Even when Seas gets the drop on him. <laughs> invulnerable heroes are always problematic, especially when they're not invulnerable. He's wearing a vest for this one scene. He even has a full-size remote-controlled plane to use as a decoy. Sure was an expensive way to throw those mugs off our tail. This has a knock-on effect that you don't worry about anyone else either. Savage will save them. <laughs> Based on that sound effect, I'm not the only one who was struggling to take the threat seriously. No. Savage is now led to the lost Quetzamal tribe. Below, in the Valley of the Vanish, live the Quetzamals. There is no way down. Nothing but sheer cliffs. What can they do? What is it, Doc? It's a message. From my father. A message from Savage Senior and... Well, thank goodness we'd never have found that. Bring the horses. The man clearly had zero respect for his son if he just thought, that lazy jackass won't think to look behind a bush. They locate the tribe who are being used by seas as slave labour in his gold my pool. It's fantasy, so okay, I guess, but this is C's plan. Lots of money is at stake. 
If you're going for camp, and I think the guy who sleeps in a giant cot has established this. Yes, I am positive. Then your bad guy had better be out for world domination or similar. I want to get rich is not enough. Team Savage are captured along with the tribe's chief. We're all doomed to die. A horrible death. Savage is on his way. But his friends are bitten. Finally, it feels like there are real stakes. Hypodermic, antidote. Inject yourself, then inject the others. That's handy. Doc faces off with C's. I can't say I'm particularly concerned, as he has previously taken on roomfuls of men, and the film actually manages to make it even less tense. <laughs> Okay, we may have added that last one, but if you can't take the final fight seriously, how do you expect anyone watching to? Savage and friends hide as there is a volcanic eruption, throwing molten gold everywhere. <laughs> You'd think that would hurt. Tragic. Killed by a golden shower. As for C's, Savage isn't a killer, preferring to homeopathically lobotomize his enemies. There, Doc will perform a special kind of acupuncture surgery on your brain. That was pretty progressive for 1936. The big problem here is that someone set out to make Doc Savage as near to the originals as possible. Then, someone else decided that his heroic attitude wouldn't fly in the cynical 70s. Let us think of the right, and lend our assistance to all who may need it. And undermined it wherever possible. The movie's best moments are actually where it is unapologetically itself. Mona, you're a prick. That works. There's no silliness to undermine it, and we accept it as Doc's personality. There are other problems, but if only they had had the confidence to do that throughout, then this might have ended up the series it was designed to be. Thank God the same people didn't get their hands on Star Wars or Indiana Jones, which have similarly old-fashioned values. Doesn't bear thinking about. Watching, please join us on Patreon or YouTube membership at the shadow level to pick a film for us to review. Who would you like to see playing Doc Savage today and who should direct? Let us know in the comments below. Toodaloo.